Hi, welcome back to another video. So today I wanted to do this fall cranberry look. I'm super excited for fall to be here and I love a cranberry vibe. This is my favorite cranberry shade lipstick that I've been wearing for years in the last couple months of every year. So if you wanna see this cranberry look, then please keep watching. I look like a little naked mole rat because I took my eyelash extensions off, so for the meantime, I have no lashes. I have to wait for my own to grow back. So, anyways, let's get into this cranberry fall look. So, for my face today, I'm actually going to mix the Tom Ford foundation stick with the Armani Luminous Silk. For the Tom Ford stick, I am 6.5 Sable, and the Armani, I'm also 6.5. So what I like to do is just take the foundation stick and swipe it everywhere on my face. And I like to just take the Armani Luminous Silk and put this on the Beauty Blender and blend it out. Am I the only one that feels like they're gonna get their white shirt dirty every single time they do their makeup? It feels so good and I have eyelash extensions, I could do this to my eye all day long. It's like, you feel so naked without the lash extensions, especially because I've been wearing them for so long and like you wake up looking cute and now I'm just like, good morning, you know? Um, but it does feel so much better when I'm like washing all the makeup off my face and putting on eyeshadow, putting on eyeliner, but we'll see how this works out because I'm allergic to all the eyelash glues, so you know, makes my eyes water, they don't really stick. And obviously I would only wear them if I'm like filming or going somewhere, so. In the meantime, I have to look crazy until my lashes grow back. For concealer, we're gonna do the Tarte Shape Tape in Light Medium Honey. I honestly love doing like fall makeup looks because I love wearing a dark lip and just like a cute little quick bronze smoky eye or even just leaving the lid bare, having a little bronzer in the crease and doing a dark lip. Like it's my favorite. I just love the end of the year. I know I talk about this all the time, but like I cannot get to October fast enough, okay? It's already September, I cannot believe it. This is my Fenty makeup sponge. Honestly, like the year has gone by so, 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 so fast. And I know everyone says that and it just goes faster and faster every year and I don't understand. And then the later it gets in the year, then the faster it goes. Let's do some contour with the Fenty Contour Stick and Truffle. The end of the year is just my favorite, but the fact that it goes by so fast, it makes me so sad and like, I just feel like if I'm not grinding every single day, working on my goals, like the time just flies by and then it's like, I'm not doing anything, like what? Let's blend this out with our beauty blender. But I just feel like lately I've been trying so hard to make so many changes with my habits and my health and like just my like self-worth I guess you could call it. I'm just trying to work on myself and work on my mindset that I have towards myself because I don't know how I got to be like so negative but not about other things or other people but just negative about myself and it's just so bad because I'm never gonna be able to accomplish my goals or get to where I'm going or help other people if I have negative feelings about myself. And I know a lot of people probably feel this way, but it's like, we really have to change this. We can't talk bad about ourselves or talk down to ourselves, even when it's in your head and you're not saying it to other people, or you're not saying it out loud. Like It really affects your subconscious and your ability to do things. So I've just been really working hard on trying to be nicer to myself and speak more positively about myself. Let's set our face with the Hourglass Translucent Veil Powder. But I've just been working a lot on myself and my goals and I'm really trying to focus on accomplishing a lot before the end of the year. Um, 
I am actually gonna have a video coming on end of year goals and how to basically change your life and change your habits the last three months of the year to get you ahead to start your new year. It sounds a little confusing, but um, my video on this is gonna be coming at the end of September, so make sure you watch that if you're really trying hard to change your habits and hit all your goals. I'm gonna set my under eyes with the MAC Studio Fix Powder in N4. I'm gonna take my same Morphe brush, it's the M554. But I've really just been trying to better everything in my life, like just better myself, better my habits, just work on everything. Let's bronze with the MAC Gimme Sun. And I'm using the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Collab um, bronzer brush. I just wanna be better. Um, I just want to hit my weight loss goal, my health goals. I'm gonna contour my nose with the Hoola from the Cheek Leaders palette. But I've been posting on YouTube just since August. I've been doing like three videos a week. And so obviously my goal is to continue that and make sure that I you know, I'm doing my three videos a week till end of the year because I really want to grow my channel. It's like really different for me to have had like a certain career and then all of a sudden be starting over and doing this as my career. Obviously I just started my channel a month ago, so it's not like this is my career in the sense of, you know, I'm getting paid from this, but this is, what I'm putting all my time and effort into every week. So in my eyes, this is my career. This is what I'm focused on. So I'm really trying hard to just grow the channel and you know, put all my creative energy and my time and effort into this. And my health is my number one goal as well. Um, then I'm gonna take the highlighter cookie from the Cheek Leaders palette. I'm gonna do this on my nose and on my cheeks. Um, with my health goals, I'll make progress and then I'll stop and then I'll make progress and then I'll stop. You know, it's just hard for me. I don't know if you guys can relate, but when I'm dealing with depression or anxiety, it kind of feels like hard to focus every single day and accomplish every single thing. Like for example, you know, if I'm having a bad day, if I'm depressed, I don't want to get out of bed. It's very hard for me to fast and go to the gym and eat healthy and do YouTube and film and do this and do that and like take care of the house, take care of my husband, like to do everything. It gets kind of overwhelming when, you know, you're struggling and like, I feel like a lot of people that don't struggle with anxiety or depression, they can't really relate in a sense where like, they don't understand that feeling of like you not wanting to get out of bed or you know, you just having such low energy. It's hard to explain to people, but if they don't get it, they don't get it, that's fine, you know? But I've just been trying my hardest. Like, my health is my number one priority, but in my eyes, if I'm having a bad day, and it's like, something's gotta give, like I gotta not do one thing that day because I can't do everything on my to-do list, then I will make sure that I put anything on a time constraint first, like uploading, or editing a video or filming my videos. Like I make sure that the week does not pass where I don't get my videos done that I wanna do. But I really do need to put my health first and the days where I feel like I just can't do anything, I just take my day, do the best I can, and then boom, the next day or whatever day, move on and do what I can, you know? So I'm trying to like be kind to myself, but at the same time, push myself out of my comfort zone and not give up. For blush, let's use Charlotte Tilbury in Ecstasy. And I'm using my MAC blush brush. I wanna do something kinda light on the cheek since the eye and lip is gonna be very dark, so this is like a soft pink. But I mean, I'm just trying to push myself to hit all my goals. Right now, my main goals are just growing my YouTube and like I said, you know, hitting my weight loss goal and my health goals. I'm trying to cure all my ailments and, you know, heal my gut, just everything. So sometimes it's hard to focus on so many things at once, but I'm trying to just focus on my YouTube and my health and have those as my priorities so that by the end of the year, 
four months from now, you know, my channel will hopefully be in such a great place and I'll have so many videos posted and I'll just kind of like be on a roll with my momentum and also be at my weight loss goal pretty soon here, hopefully in the next two months, so that I don't have to worry about that and I'll already be in a routine. Let me know what you guys do when you get stressed. Like, how do you still accomplish your goals if you're struggling with depression or anxiety? Like, how do you push through the day? I would love to know. I would love to do videos on mental health and you know, goals and how to push through certain things. Um, I don't know if that's helpful to some people, but I feel like for me, it's hard to always find resources to how to like better myself and how to push through depression and anxiety or how to like heal from it. So let me know if you want to see a video on that. I'm going to clean up under my cheeks with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the shade 2 and my little Morphe sponge. So now that we're done with our face, I'm just gonna set with my Morphe setting mist. I love this. Okay, for brows, I'm so excited because I got the new Fenty Beauty brow product to try. This is called Brow MVP, the Ultra Fine Brow Pencil and Styler. Um, I got this in the shade Light Brown. So I believe this will be similar to the Anastasia Brow Wiz. It's super tiny and round and then, ooh. <laughs> so instead of like the regular spoolie on it, it's this cute, I don't know if you can see this. It's this cute, like one of those brushes that look like toothbrushes that blend it out. I'm so excited for this. Ooh, this goes on so easy. I love this, it looks so natural and you can just draw on little hair strokes. This color is great too, it's pretty neutral. I don't like a warm brow. I mean, I also don't like a cool brow either, so that's why I get a neutral color. And if your brows are like a little darker or you tint them darker like me, you don't need to get your brow pencil to match the brow hair color because then your brows are gonna look too bold. So you just wanna make sure that you're getting like a nice neutral medium color or whatever matches your hair. I love how precise and fine this is. It's so easy to apply. Let's try this little brush to blend them out. This is so cute. This blends out so easy. Okay, our brows are done. I love the little brush on the other side to blend them out. We're gonna set them with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And then underneath that, I'm gonna take the Benefit High Brow and just carve out my brows. I'm gonna use my MAC Concealer Brush to blend that out. Okay, now for the fun part. So for the eyes, I wanna use this Urban Decay Naked Cherry Palette. I do wanna use um, more of these darker cranberry tones here. I am doing a dark berry lip, like a nice cranberry, so I don't want the eye to be too dark, but we want it to be cranberry tones. For my crease, I'm gonna start with the color Feels. This is just like a lighter tone that's gonna put a transition color in our crease so that when we put the dark one, it will go on smooth. I love Urban Decay's shadows. They're like so pigmented, they blend so easy. Obviously, all the Naked palettes are so good. My sister just got the new one. I think it's called the Naked Remastered or something. I'm not sure, I have to ask her if she likes it. I feel like lately I've been wearing like a lot of like pinker tones and bold colors on my eyes. I mean, I guess it's good to like, you know, go outside of your comfort zone. I'm gonna use the shade Devilish for the crease now. And I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M433. It's a little bit of a more dense crease brush. And I love the Urban Decay shadows because they don't have any fallout. If you just tap your brush before you go in, when you blend it, you shouldn't have any fallout. I'm gonna take the same shade Devilish and just put it on my MAC Fluffy Crease Brush just so we could blend the edges.
Okay, now I wanna use a shade Ambitious on the lid, and I'm gonna take a flat brush to pack it on the lid. This one's like super pretty, like kinda like a rose gold coppery. So pretty. Okay, let's move on to the bottom. So, I'm going to take a little fluffy brush. I'm gonna use the first shade feels that we did in the crease first, and I'm gonna do a little bit of that on the bottom. Then on a smaller crease brush, this is the Morphe JH40. I'm gonna use the shade Devilish that we did in our crease second, and just run a little bit of this on the bottom. You don't want it too blown out though. And now I'm gonna take the cookie shade highlighter that I did on my cheeks, I'm gonna do this in the inner corner. I'm gonna use a small pencil brush. I love this highlighter because it just makes everything pop. And I'm gonna do a little of this under the brow bone. Just the tiniest bit. Okay, so for liner, I'm going to do the Charlotte Tilbury Feline Flick, the black liquid liner. Honestly, putting on eyeliner might be one of the worst things in the world. <laughs> now I'm going to curl my lashes. This is the Laura Mercier Eyelash Curler. I like to do this before I put on the mascara. Not that I have a lot of lashes to curl at the moment. <laughs> Oops, it'll just make my lashes go on a little easier. And I've just smudged a little bit of the Nude Sticks black liner just in the lower lash line on the outer corners. So for mascara, I'm using the Hypnos Drama by Lancome. Okay, I'm gonna do the MAC Extended Play for the bottom lashes. Literally, I have like no eyelashes left from taking off the eyelash extensions, but it's fine. Just pray that the strip lash will stay on long enough for me to finish my video and take a cute pic. Cause I'm allergic to the glue. For lashes, I'm going to use the Lily Lashes and Sephora collab and this is in the shade Paris. So I'm gonna put these on and I'll be right back. Okay, so I didn't die. Not yet at least, I just can't see because, <laughs> you know. So for our lips, we're gonna do the MAC lip liner in the color Vino. So I just did the liner and filled in the lips a little bit. And then for our lipstick, this is a shade Diva. This is my all time favorite. Like typically September through December, I'm wearing this lipstick every day, but for some reason I haven't worn it in like years. So I'm really excited to wear the shade again. This is like a very nice matte formula for MAC. And with a dark shade like this, I like to just go in with the liner again and clean up all the edges. So here's a final look. We have a little light cranberry eye and this nice deep cranberry lip. I hope that you loved it. Um, I can't wait for fall. I'm gonna be wearing this all the time. I'm obsessed with this dark lip. You can also wear this with just like a nice clean face and a little bronzer, bronze on the eyes mascara, like anything. It'll just be super nice and super bold. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you liked it and what else you wanna see for fall. Thank you so much for watching.